Hi, this is Shelley from Miami Physio and Lakelands Physiotherapy. We forgot to talk about scoliosis the other day when we were talking about back posture. So it's quite hard for you for me to show you on myself. So I'm going to use Hannah's back here and I'm going to draw on her and show you what we're talking about. So we've got, she's actually got normal spinal alignment here. The way we look at that is the, the spinal processes coming straight down here. We look at the hip height as well, our shoulder height as well, and that gives us an idea of how straight she is standing. When we're looking at someone's flexion, so I'll get you to bend forward, Hannah, from that position. That's it. And what we're looking at here is whether she stays straight when she's bending or whether it causes a little bit of a rotation through her spine. So in someone with a scoliosis, we've got their pelvic height here. Now they might go like a big S bend like this. So what we might see is that they might curve like this and then they might come around here and then they might curve back the other way through here and then come back here. So what we'll then see with that is her hip will come out that way on that side, her shoulders will come out this way on this side and then if it sometimes we'll see a rotation through here as well so it should be rotated. So people will correct in different ways to make up for that. So she might then hitch up on one side to make up for that which will make it look like she's got a leg length difference. So we'll see a whole heap of different ways that she'll try and make it better for herself. Now there's two different types of scoliosis. So we talk about a postural scoliosis and a structural scoliosis. So a postural scoliosis is something that's happening because of the way that you're using your muscles or you've got muscle imbalances around your back. So when she bends forward, if she's got a postural scoliosis, she's actually not going to have a rotation component. So you'll still see the curve, but you won't see a change through here. Somebody who's got a structural polyosis who bends forwards, we will see a big rotation. We'll see what we call a rib hump. So in this case, she would come down. This whole side of her rib cage would look like it's sticking out quite a bit, particularly as she goes down lower. So come on up. So as physios, we see this quite commonly. Um, a, a lot of people have a small scoliosis and it's not actually an issue. But if it is an issue, we will give exercises to stretch out the, the muscles that are too tight, to strengthen the muscles that are a problem. If we get past a certain angle, so if we measure these two angles where they intersect, um, then sometimes people need to go into a brace and that's often where you see teenagers in the braces from the hips to the neck to straighten them up while they're still growing. So if you think you've got a problem with a scoliosis or you want us to check you out, come and give us a yell and we can have a look and let you know what we think of your spinal posture.